What's up everybody, Joe Pascal here at JoeToProAthlete.com and today we're going to go over a bicep curl variation that's actually going to help you out with mobility at the bottom of your deep squats, in your clean, in your snatch, deadlift, okay? So this is a really simple exercise that's going to pay a lot of dividends for you. I actually learned this from a buddy of mine, John Carlo, uh, who's a great strength coach and personal trainer out of the Boise area here. So shout out to him and his guys over at Performance Inc. Doing some really good stuff over there. This exercise, okay? All we need to do is reach the bottom of our ideal squat position. So I want to keep my heels planted firmly to the ground. My feet are maybe just outside of my hips. My toes still need to be under my knees. If I'm so wide that my knees are here and I can't get them out over my toes, my foot position is not correct, try it again. From here, I'm just gonna work to keep my chest up. Keeping my chest up is gonna take the roundness out of my low back and hopefully put me in a strong position with a natural arch there. I'm gonna take my elbows just inside my knees and I'm sort of pushing out just a little bit to keep those knees where they belong and not let them fall in. And it's supporting my arms almost like a preacher curl bench so that then I will turn to my cable. I wanna have my low pulley set up on my cable machine, any bar that you want to use for your curls, and you're anchored right there off the inside of your knees, chest up, and curl from there. And yes, you're going to get a bicep workout here, but the most important thing we're doing is just working to stay in this ideal deep squat position from the bottom, chest up, arch low back, heels still in contact with the ground. Okay, so bicep curls and mobility work all at once.